What's up, guys? And welcome back to the channel. And we are back at it with another episode of Hidden Affair. Guys, if you guys don't remember what happened in the last episode, very messy. Um, Tayo and what's his face are looking for proof. Well, they found some proof that um, the Ruezes have been using drug money to fund their hotels um nora is making process um she hasn't been waking up but she's been making movement which is a lot more than she has been doing daigo gets a message i'm guessing about victoria um and what she is now planning or doing and our girl miss isabella tells gabriel that she loves carlos and they're going to be together and if it comes down to it she will walk away from this family to be with carlos so well, let's just get into it and see what is the tea um if you can see this is in the bathroom peter's very emotional diago gets this call um saying veronica what did i call her before <laughs> what did i call her before vanessa <laughs> my bad but he's um he left the hospital so i hope we have a ride home because he uh oh my god oh my god she lit the house on fire she lit the house on fire y'all i didn't even notice it at first i was like who was that outside? And then I look. Oh my gosh, she lit the house on fire. And he, let's jump into it. Is she a damn arsonist in her spare time? Mr. Ruiz, my dog, is perfectly fine too. Seems like he was in the backyard when the house caught fire. He might just live to see another day, Veronica. I'm guessing everything else is ruined. Luckily, it was just the bathroom and the guest room upstairs. The master bedroom is relatively undamaged. Although the left wing downstairs is in a sorry state. Let me know when you're finished so I can arrange for my things to be collected. Boss! Do you have a lead? They change cars in a parking lot. It could be one of the 15 vehicles seen leaving during a similar time window. She left with that woman who was tagging along with her at the gala. I was telling them at first, but when I saw your house in flames, I turned the car around. If that was the wrong decision, I, I'll accept the consequences. No, you made the right choice. We just all underestimated her. I shouldn't forget that she's the daughter of a mafia boss. Should I call Gabriel? No, I'll handle this myself. How much luggage does she have? Only saw one bag, boss. She's in a rush. What direction are they heading? South. South. Miami Airport? Or is it a decoy? Can you assemble a team of men quickly in the next 10 minutes? I can get two, maybe three. Make it four. Take one with you and head to the Miami Airport. Have the other two go to Fort Lauderdale. I would also check on vehicles that match the description of the cars leaving in the parking lot, backdated by two hours. I want eyes and ears on the ground in Mexico. Gabriel could. Gabriel doesn't need to be involved. Just hire your team. Have them send men to the nearest airport. Airport's nearest Sal Salo. I don't know if that was right or not. Yes, boss. I expect an update every hour on the hour. Ruiz Estate, Mexico. This place I said it before is beautiful and it's freaking huge. They like they live on a resort. Is there a Miss Isabella? Bella? What are you? Has something happened? Is there a day that goes by where something isn't happening in this family? I tried speaking with Gabriel. Tried? It was like talking to a brick wall. Give it time. It'll work out. Not if we don't sort out the next problem. What problem? Veronica called demanding we give her what she wants. Gabriel already knows about us. Her threats mean nothing now. That's not, but that's what I thought. But last night, 
A girl is cute in her PJs. To what do I owe the pleasure? It's time to pay up on that debt you owe me. I think you feel real good. I bet you feel real good thinking you got one over on me. Joke's on you. Gabriel already knows about Carlos and I, so I'm hanging up on Ah, ah, ah. So he knows about you and Carlos, but does he know everything? What are you getting at? Come on, Belly. You're a smart girl. Figure it out. Your manipulation tactics won't work on me. I'll call your bluff. Fine. Bring in one new life and ensure the death of another. See if I care. What did you just say? Gabriel will surely kill your boyfriend once he finds out, right? But at least you'll get to keep a piece of him. Although it might be painful raising someone that looks just like your lover. Especially knowing you could have saved him if you had only listened to me. What the hell do you want? Good to see you're finally thinking straight, Bella. I want to know where the Ruizes don't operate in Mexico. Co-ordinates, locations, everywhere that's not within their reach. I should fucking kill her for blackmailing you. I don't know how Saya could put up with her all this time. I don't like this, Isabella. We can't tell Gabriel Carlo. Every bone in my body is telling me not to give her this information. But it's not like she asked for the location of our hideouts or shipment dates. It's about land that isn't even ours. This wouldn't even affect us. It's information she can find out at any time. Exactly. So there's no need for us to give her the information. I can't lose you, Carlos. Gabriel, he was so angry just finding out about us. What if he really doesn't hold back and he kills you? I won't. I can't raise our child by myself. To be fair, if I'll give her that coordinate, he'll probably kill you too. <sighs> Call her. Really. I'll tell her what she wants to know. And I hope I don't regret it later. You will. You absolutely will. Meanwhile. Are you okay? I didn't see you much in the office today. And you disappeared suddenly yesterday. I'm fine. I've just been busy. You're clearly not fine. You don't need to trouble yourself. Fine. Let's ride in silence. Um, you don't have to trouble yourself. Like, if we're going to work on things, you got to tell me what the fuck is up, dude. You're not fine, Diego. Your mind is obviously elsewhere. If you're not ready to talk about it or you don't want to, that's okay. You don't have to come get me if you had something going on. I know sometimes things happen that are out of your control. I would have understood and just made my own way. There is no need to trouble yourself. I'm not troubling myself. So you can stop trying to psychoanalyze me. I was only trying to be understanding. You can go home once we reach Cody's kindergarten. I'll make my way back to the hotel. I didn't mean to be so blunt with you. Right now, I don't have a home to go to. What do you mean you don't have a home to go to? Veronica set fire to my house. <laughs> what do you mean she set fire to your house? I'll be staying in a hotel from now on. So I guess that makes both of you and me homeless. But why did she do that? Because she didn't like the fact that I... I gotta take this. We can talk about it later. Why the hell would she set fire to the house she lives in? That was cool, baby. I got a sticker for my drawing. You did? That's amazing, Cody. You got to show me your work when we get home. Where's your cap? I forgot it. I'll go get it. Don't run! Our girl looks good. Our girl looks good. Miss Parker? Oh, hi, Mr. Francis. I, um... Uh, I know I'm Cody's teacher, but I was wondering if you were free next weekend, next week. For what? Is there a trip? Cody never mentioned it. I meant free to go on a date. Oh, you are single, right? I overheard Cody saying that you and his father don't live together anymore, and I've never seen you come together with anyone else. So borderline creepy. I'm flattered, but I only figured I finally got the courage to ask you. Oh, you're so sweet. However, we have a man. Sorry, but I'm not free. Actually, I'm... Wait, what am I supposed to say here? That I'm dating someone? I got not even dating. 
I'm seeing someone. Or nothing but a pipe dream. Really, if all I've been doing is fooling myself. I'm seeing someone. Oh, a little white lie won't hurt. I'm seeing someone. You are. Yes. Oh, so there's no chance that we can... No! Oh! Where did he come from? We didn't hear him. <laughs> we didn't hear him? There's no fucking chance. There you go. How does this concern you? Who even are you? Do you know this man, Eloise? She doesn't need to answer to you. I wasn't talking to you. Eloise, don't test my patience. Who the hell are you? I'm a better choice than you. That's not for you to decide. If a woman says no, it means no. He's right. Now skip back towards the classroom before I drag you in there and beat a lesson into you myself. Still feeling confident, I see. It's It'll be too late to change your mind once you're stuck in a hospital bed shitting from a tube. Stop it! Did Mr. Francis do something bad? No, it's just that those talking Cody, okay? Let's go home, okay? I don't know what's gotten into you today, Psycho, but I don't like it. I don't ever want to grow up. <laughs> you love Cody. He's completely knocked out. I guess all that playing at kindergarten must have really worn him out. I guess so. Are you still mad at me? I don't know. I've been showing you all the parts of myself I hate lately. I'm not mad at you. I just wish you'd think more about my situation. I don't want to create a scene and become gossip for other parents. And I still have to see that guy every day when I take Cody to school. <sighs> Could I always move Cody to another school? Let's just skip this for today. Do you want to drink something strong? A glass of bourbon coming up? You're not having anything yourself? No. And here I was looking forward to seeing your cheeks get all flush when you drink. My cheeks? They turn a pink shade when you had a couple of drinks. Honestly, I wish your face was the first and last thing my eyes could see every day. Then I look forward to my mornings and evenings. You know, that I got, I've been thinking about our situation, your situation. But as much as I'm trying to ignore it all, in reality, this situation is no better than what I ran away from back in Wisconsin. Although Veronica and I aren't friends, how am I any better than Priya if we continue like this? I can't catch up anymore. I don't want to be a second chore. I filed for a divorce. <laughs> Period! That's our man! And you were never a second choice for me, Eloise. I should've. I would've divorced her a long time ago, but it's not something I could easily do because of who I am. Every choice has a consequence. A consequence? Is that why Veronica tried to burn down your house? Probably. She wasn't exactly happy about it, but I don't need it to get into all that. What's important is that there's no longer any obligations between us. Veronica and I are done, and you know about who I really am. I have nothing to hide now. It's a fresh start for you and me. A fresh start. I'm serious about you, Eloise. I've never been this serious about a woman in my life. This is everything I've been wanting to hear. So why do I feel so guilty? If we really are going to have a fresh start, then I have to tell him. I have to tell him I've been deceiving him too. I thought you felt the same way. I, I do. It's not that it's not what you think, even after everything I found out. I'm happy. I want it to be by your side. Then why do you like you want to run away? There you go. Back on chapter one. <laughs> Back in chapter one. Because you're not the only one who's been hiding something. What do you mean? I... I was... Just give me a second. I'll be right back. What could she possibly be hiding? And how bad could it be that she can't tell me straight away? Does she have debt? 
That's what she's worried about. It doesn't matter. I don't think anything could be bad enough to keep me away from the Eloise. Does this seem familiar? Oh, it's the wig. Oh, it's the wig. Hey, boo. This is my secret. Girl. <laughs> yeah, boo, this is, I was her. It was me. You're, you're, you know, I was her. I, even though we didn't do anything, you would just have a cute little conversation. But it was me. It was me. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm done. But okay, guys. Guys, this, we are officially caught up with the most recent episode of Hidden Affair. So there will be no episode next week. Um, I guess we'll start a new story and we'll do this like we do like we did broken ambition when there is a new episode i'll just do a double read and do this and whatever reading you guys suggested two stories um already well suggested another story i'll look into that one um i haven't looked for it but because the, the other story when you guys suggested i can't find um so if i can find that one then we'll read that one but other than that guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe um hope you guys are being safe today uh today is labor day so if you're out of school or you don't have class or you don't have work or you know or you do like me <laughs> i hope you have a safe one and i hope you have a good one so happy labor day guys and i'll see you in the next video